then you have the option to add plugins to your website. Personally, I prefer to add plugins myself, so I don't select any of this list. In different video, I'll guide you through the plugin I'm installing when starting a new website. But let's go over this list. The first option for plugins is to add uh, the classic editor. This is because the generated posts in AI WiseMind are created using the classic editor, not Gutenberg editor. I wish they would change it as I personally prefer the Gutenberg editor. Nonetheless, if you don't add the plugin, the post will be created in the Gutenberg editor with in classic editor blocks. You can change this letter if you want to use Gutenberg blocks. I'll show you later how to change classic editor to Gutenberg blocks. Since you always need to review the post, this is just another step if you choose to switch from classic to Gutenberg. You can also keep the post in the classic editor block so you don't need the classic editor plugin. The next plugin is for creating table of content. I prefer using my Gutenberg table of contents block that I add with Cadence or Stackable plugin, so I don't add this either. However, if you don't want to edit anything after creating the content and you want a table of contents, then you can use this option. The following plugin is for disabling comments. If you don't want comments on your website, you can do this with this plugin or in a different way as well that save you from adding another plugin to your website. For example, if you use a theme that have this option, you can turn off comments. For example, in the Cadence theme, you can go to the customization option, then to post layout, and finally single post layout. You can adjust various settings here, including comments. If you want to disable comments for your entire website, just scroll down and find the comment section and adjust it as you prefer, and of course, publish it. So back to AI WiseMind. You don't necessarily need to add a comment disabling plugin to your website, just check your theme. The next plugin in the list is SiteKit by Google. This is must have to connect Google Analytics and other free Google products. I'll cover this setup in another video. Rank Math SEO is an SEO plugin. It's a good one to consider. Next plugin is Auto Updates. Keeps your plugin themed and word WordPress updated. However, it can potentially break your site if an updated plugin is problematic. If you're managing multiple sites, it's helpful, but for just one site, manual updates are better. Next plugin is YouTube Embed Plus. This is a plugin for YouTube players. I often use the regular Gutenberg YouTube block and sometimes I use Presto Player for more features. So you don't need this one.